Hey there, Internet! It's time for a double feature! In today's Gamer Top 10, we're going to look at Angelic Pretty Toys Museum and Angelic Pretty Astrology series. These are both series that came out at the end of last year, and I only just now got around to filming them and reviewing them. For both dresses, I bought the black colorway, and I bought a dress and a head bow. So why don't we get right into it and see which one is the best. We're going to start with the Astrology series, which came out at the end of last year. It came out in several colorways, blue, navy, black, ivory, as well as a special lavender colorway. I specifically bought the jumper skirt because I really liked the star design on the front with the little belts, and I also bought the star headband in black because I liked the jewels on it. So here's the dress on its hanger. It hangs a little bit awkwardly because the straps do cross in the back, but it is made of a see-through chiffon with a black underlayer, and it's got a gold print screen printed onto it and a gold pleather belt. My first thoughts when I pulled this out of the box was, holy crap, this is beautiful, and then my second thoughts when I pulled this out of the box was, oh no, I bet the glitter's going to leak. While there was some glitter fallout when I pulled it out of the bag, I haven't noticed any major leaking sense, so I think the print is properly sealed. It was probably just loose glitter from the printing process. The front has this nice velvet bow on it, and it also has this belt, which is the pleather stars. Unfortunately, this belt is not detachable. I was really hoping it was, but it looks like it's just stitched on, so I'm probably going to remove it. And the back is fully shared with crossed over straps. The waist ties are the same print and material as the dress, and they're attached with these little sparkly buttons. And they seem securely sewed on, I didn't notice any looseness that I should be worried about. The straps have bronzy hardware and this single frill made of the print material. The only disappointment I noticed with the straps is that they are not detachable. I was hoping they would be so that they don't have to be cross strapped, but just bear that in mind if you purchase it. The lace on the bottom is actually a lace I've seen on a lot of different Tubbaugh releases and I've seen on a few recent Angelic Pretty releases, so it must be pretty popular. And the print is incredibly sparkly, which is probably my favorite feature of the dress. I don't know anything about astrology, but I also attempted to capture a few of the different characters that I noticed on the dress, such as Bird Lady and Sunshine. The lion, the goat, the twin cherubs and the scales up above them, fish, bow and arrow as well as moon and the letter M, arachnid, and lastly my favorite astrology character, brand name. Moving on to the try-on, this dress is so pretty in person. That was the first thing I really couldn't get over. I decided to pair it with some gold socks to help bring out the gold, as well as a simple gold cap pattern clip on my hair and a little gold and black cross. Don't mind the door opening on its own, by the way. That's just my cat letting herself in to see what I'm up to. This looked especially cute paired with my favorite Eva Live bag. Here's a bit of a closer view so you can see how it moves a bit better. I think my biggest qualm with this dress is that the bodice is not super comfortable because of the non-detachable crossover straps, which I would much rather just be straight over. And it's also tailored in a way that just doesn't really suit my body type. But overall, it's shiny, it's beautiful, it feels luxurious to wear, and it moves very nicely. It's so pretty. The headband sits flat on your head, and so far it's one of my favorite accessories to just kind of wear for work because of the jewels and stars on it. It's very pretty and very shiny. I didn't expect to like this release as much as I did. In fact, my expectations were pretty low for it, but I was actually really happy with what I received. Moving on to Toys Museum, this is an Imai Kira collab, and I like to collect all of these. I think they're very beautiful dresses. This one specifically features all sorts of different toys and objects from other prints, so this actually reminds me a lot of Angelic Pretty's Memorial Library series, which did something similar, where it had books with all of these different famous print names on them, only this is kind of the Imai Kira version. It's definitely a print for the fans. 
Right as I took it out of the box, I could tell how vibrant the colors were, and that had me really excited. So I looked at the head bow first, and this is a pretty standard head bow. What's different about this one is that it's sewn to lay flat. Pardon my cat that I keep having to move out of the way. But it is a lavender tag and a sewn on head bow. The material is exactly the same as the print material, just without the lining, and the headband itself also has the print material on it. It also has this little charm on the side that says Angelic Pretty that helps you identify the brand. I didn't notice any imperfections, and it was pretty standard run-of-the-mill for what I expect of AP headbands. So why don't we move on to the dress itself, which was definitely one of my favorite releases of the year. You'll notice that unlike Astrology, the front belt on this dress is in fact actually detachable, which is great if you want to wear it in a different way. In fact, this dress can be worn so many different ways because the front bib is also completely removable. You can see the Angelic Pretty logo is embroidered on the bib and it's made of a satiny material. I'm not super crazy about the material and I've heard some other complaints about it, but it's not terrible either. It definitely looks better in photos though. You'll have to forgive my dying camera and the chaotic nature of this footage due to my dying camera, but I looked and it had black buttons on the sleeves, and both sleeves had a frill made of the same print material. The only lace that was used on the dress was used at the bottom. The dress's most exciting feature is all of the different characters on the prints. You might recognize them if you're a fan of other Emi Kira prints, such as the cat, which I've heard is based on her real-life cat, the Charlotte's Bear, the glass bottles, the bunny from the Easter print that I reviewed last year, the squirrel, which I believe was in the same print, but I'm not completely sure. I'd have to go back and look. The print is full of pinks and lavenders and blues and golds in the typical Emi Kira sort of washed out, desaturated style, which is probably one of my favorite styles that AP comes out with. I think it's nice, it's understated, and it's something that I can wear casually. It also has pockets on both sides, which I note here, and as usual, the pockets are made of the print material, so if you'd like to do alterations, keep that in mind. The back of the dress has detachable waist ties, as well as the buttons for the detachable front bib. You can see the buttons here are a nice pearly color, and they are attached with a fabric, so it's pretty easy to take it on and off. Underneath you can see that they're using the new lavender tags, which I hadn't gotten to see much of before, which are a much deeper purple than the old lavender tags, and there's none of the light polka dots. Here's the front of the dress without the bib. It has this bow, which is detachable. I decided to attach it to the dress itself, so I can just flip it over the bib when I want to wear the dress with it, or leave it without. It has these beautiful pin tucks. And it's a typical OP design, I would say, for AP. I believe I've seen the same cut in Holiday Collection, with the difference being that this one has these frills along the shoulders and the neckline. The lace is the classic AP crown lace, which is one of my favorite lace designs. Just a quick once over told me that the construction was really good and the colors definitely look really nice on camera and in real life. I decided to pair this dress with the AP Tea Time bag that came out a few years ago, a pearl necklace, and some simple under the knee socks. I was really happy with the cut, it was incredibly comfortable, the sleeves are loose. The cut is my favorite OP cut from AP because I just feel like it fits me really nicely and it really suits me, and the length is also perfect ending right above my knees. Here's a better look at the top of the dress, and also excuse all of the boxes in view, I am in the middle of moving right now. I was really happy with the little front bow, I thought it added a little extra charm that was definitely needed in the front. If you do want to remove it, I feel like it would definitely tone it down into something more casual that you can wear in more of an office setting. I like to wear these to offices with no petticoat and with... A nice winter cardigan. They always go over really well with my coworkers who are huge fans of my wardrobe. And also, yeah, bonus, here's my cat. You can see here how flat the head bow sits on the head. It's not meant to prop up at all. I really like this look because it's definitely more of a toned down, understated, and I think it really suits the theme that Emi Kira dresses go for can't see the AP logo under the detachable bow, but you can probably remove it to get a better look. 
Overall, I was pretty impressed and happy with both releases, but I would say if I had to pick, my favorite would be the Astrology release, mostly because I can see a lot of versatility with my closet, which is mostly all black dresses. I just felt like it was very beautiful and it showed up incredibly well in photos. I hope that's at least a bit informative for you. If you're looking at buying either of these dresses, I believe they're both still on sale on AP's website right now. Thanks for watching.